Pigs are superheroes. They secretly save lives every day, and it's because they have surfactant in their lungs. John Clemens first discovered surfactant in lungs in the 1950s, and nobody cared. Lungs are like bubbles. They're filled with air, and then there's a thin layer of water molecules around them. Now, water molecules absolutely love each other. They're like a couple that you invite over for dinner, and they can't keep their hands off each other. There's this force of attraction between them, and that's what creates surface tension and why insects can walk on water. But in bubbles and in our lungs, what it means is that every single water molecule on the outside wants to meet in the middle. So there is a force constantly trying to burst the bubble or collapse our lungs. And when Clemens measured these forces, he discovered that we would all need to be constantly crying to keep our lungs open if there wasn't a surface tension lowering substance in our lungs. Can you imagine the sound of six billion people crying? <laughs> if Trump wins the White House, we might know what it sounds like. And what he found was surfactant, a lipoprotein with a split personality disorder. It's got a phosphate head that loves water and a hydrocarbon tail that hates water. So if you invite surfactant to our dinner party, its head is winking at one water molecule, but its tail is kicking the other underneath the table. And that decreases the force of attraction between the water molecules, and it lessens the surface tension. And it's why when we exhale, our lungs don't collapse. And he wrote it up, and nobody read it, zero citations. At the time, thousands of premature babies were dying every year because of premature lung disease. And we thought it was because there were villainous molecules in the air attacking their lungs. In an age before Google Scholar, it took 10 years and a chance meeting between John Clements and a doctor, Mary Ellen Avery, for her to ask, what if? What if premature babies don't have surfactant in their lungs? What if every time they exhale, their lungs collapse? What if that is what's killing them? And she was right. Today, premature babies are routinely treated with pig's surfactant. This has saved one million lives in the past 25 years and is only surpassed in child lives saved by antibiotics and vaccinations. So that's why I think pigs are superheroes, because they secretly save lives.